How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Siki TV. And a couple days ago I got Android 8.0.0, which is Android Oreo on my HTC U11 Life, and I am loving this update. Uh, it sort of gave this phone a little bit of pep and new life. I mean Android Oreo is really really cool. I can't wait for it to come out for the LG V30. Uh, it is kind of sad that a $300 phone got Android O before a $800 phone. And um, I think LG needs to step it up. HTC is killing it right now. Uh, way to go HTC for upgrading and just keeping your phones up to date, which is really, really nice. This is a $300 phone, uh, mid-range phone, kind of budget phone. And it's got Android O right now. My LG V30 does not the note. I think it has a beta version, but still nothing official yet. So let's go ahead and jump down to some of the features. We now have a swipe gesture on your home screen, and this is using the HTC Sense Home. You can swipe up for your apps as well. Swipe down for your notifications. Really, really cool feature. Um, on your notifications, they've changed a little bit. Your settings is now at the bottom along with your editing to edit your notifications. When it used to be up top, I believe. Uh, settings has changed a little bit as well. It's a lot more cleaner looking. It looks really, really nice. I like it. Um, I like the whole Android O um, look and feel. As you can see, when you swipe down uh, Google Play, it sort of goes by the album that you're playing. and It'll change the entire notification to that color, which is really, really nice. Say if you go to YouTube <clears throat> and you click on a video, you go home, you also have floating YouTube videos, which is really, really nice. And when you go up here, say uh, my pause it, <clears throat> and I go back home, it'll do the color of that, whatever is on there too, which is really, really nice. It's really, really uh, nice looking, clean looking, and I love that feature. I, like I said, I especially love the, um, see if I can go back, sorry. I really love the picture, floating picture on there, the picture in picture uh, feature on this. If I go over here, it'll still be floating there. I really like that. That's one of my favorite features of Android O, which is pretty, pretty cool. And also when you go into uh, your YouTube, you also get little previews of the video when you're scrolling. So it'll start playing the video with no sound. It'll have subtitles on there to show you a little preview of it. So it's really, really cool. Really, really nice feature. Um, Android O is really, really nice. Um, like I said, there's been some improvements. Um, my phone is snappier, it's not as laggy. Uh, battery is increased by at least 15 to 20% on it. So battery life is a lot better on this device. Um, as far as camera quality, I haven't really noticed any camera uh, quality. I haven't been taking that many pictures with it. Camera seems about the same. But uh, as far as settings go, they seem about the same as well. I haven't noticed anything changing, but performance and everything has been just fine. The squeeze feature, it's still there and it works just as fine as well. I haven't noticed any changes on that as well, but Android Oreo is really, really nice. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a little um, view of it when you also when you hold down on your icons you get a lot of menus on there which is really really cool you hold down on the camera it gives you options where you can take these pictures it's a lot more built in rather than having to download a launcher to do stuff like that I remember Nova launcher they do that as well um, so it's a really really cool feature you hold down on that you could call people you know you hold down on that you could open up a new tab etc. Go to your app settings. Uh, you can do app notifications. You, it gives you more options as far as notifications go for a certain app. You could tweak it really, really well and I like that feature. So I, it seems like Oreo is based off of like tweaking notifications and stuff. So really, really nice feature. Uh, Android Oreo is really nice on HTC. They really do a good job. It's not too heavenly skinned like Samsung or LG. It looks really, really nice and clean. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what Android O looks like on the HTC U11 Life. 
uh, like I said, three hundred dollars for this phone, and you already got Android Oreo. So really, really cool. It's a really nice bang for your buck. You got great cameras. Uh, you got a quick, fast update. Um, I've had this phone for like I want to say a month maybe, and our like I said, I already got an update. So pretty, pretty cool. Check this phone out. It's the HTC U11 Life. Off of uh, got it off of T-Mobile. It's about three hundred bucks. Um, like I said, Android O. I'm using this as my daily driver right now over my V30, just because I love the features. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. See you later. Peace.